This is a question that used to be, I believe, on the old paper and pencil version of the SAT, and a lot of people used to get it wrong. Very hard question, but now it is much easier because we have Desmos. So this is definitely the way I would do it. I will show you the non-Desmos way because uh, it might come in handy in a certain case, but uh, basically, yeah, I'm just going to do x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 25. Draw my circle for me. There it is. Beautiful circle. Then we need to find the point that does not lie in the circle. So some of them you're just going to be able to see, right? I'm going to kind of treat this just like a normal graph if I zoom in here. So negative 7, 3 looks like it's in there. So that, that seems good. Negative 3, 1 also seems like it's in there. Just kind of looking at it. Um, 0, 0 in there for sure. So it's probably 3, 2. Now, if I go 3 out and 2 up, I can see that it's not. But if I'm just in any way unsure, just type it in. Guys, you can do points. So 3, comma 2 is right there. That little green dot outside the circle. Yeah. So not inside the circle, D. Definitely a very safe way to do it. But I will show you another way. Uh, it, it, it requires understanding that basically the circle equation is kind of like distance formula where we have the distance is the same. Um, another way to think of it is it's kind of like Pythagorean theorem. And maybe some of you learned it this way as well. So it's basically like when we make a, a, uh, when we make a, a circle, we are making infinite right triangles. And all of those right triangles have the exact same hypotenuse, which is our radius or our C part of the Pythagorean theorem. And so what we're basically doing on the other side, the a squared plus b squared, is we are trying to figure out the, we're going to try to maintain the distance to be the same. That's why a circle, you know, the radius is the same no matter where you are. The, the distance is the same. So if we plug in points for the x and the y, we're basically getting the distance of that point from the center of the circle, okay? So let's compare, let's do the zero, zero, right? Let's do something easy, right? So if I put zero, zero in, 0 plus 3 squared plus 0 minus 1 squared. So that's 3 squared is 9, negative 1 squared is 10, so 9 plus, or is 1, 9 plus 1 is 10. So what's happening here is we have a distance of 10, and that is less than the radius squared, which is 25. So basically, it, it's not quite a distance, it's, it's distance squared, but the idea is the same, is that by comparing these two numbers, we know that because the left side is smaller than the radius squared, this point is inside the circle. And it's pretty comfortably inside. And again, if we look at our, our origin against this circle, yeah, it's, it's inside, it's not, it's not that close to the, the, uh, the border either. Now, if we do that for a choice that doesn't work inside the circle, we would do something like the three two, so that's gonna be three plus three squared plus 2 minus 1 squared equals, well, 25, but we'll deal with that part later. So that's 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So that is 37. Now notice, 37 is greater than 25. This tells us that it's outside because the distance is greater. Now if I picked a point that was on the circle, then it would equal itself, right? Because think of all these points right here. Just think of something like 0, 5. The reason that we know that that point is on the outside of the circle is that the distance is the same as the radius, right? So that that 25 would show up on the left as it would um, uh, on the right. So 0, 5, just to put it in, so that would be 0 plus 3 squared plus 5 minus 1 squared. That's 9 plus 4 squared is 16. That's 25. And yes, equal. So that means that this is on the circle. So that's a lot of weird stuff to think about, but uh, it probably won't matter for the SAT, but just in case it does ever, that's how we would do it. That's kind of how the circle equation works is it's, it's basically keeping the distance the same between that center point and all the points on the outside. And so if the, the distance gets bigger than the radius, then we're outside the circle. If the distance is smaller than the radius, then we're inside the circle. So you can kind of use almost like an inequality with the circle equation to kind of understand where a point lies. That's how you had to do it on the old SAT before you had the calculator, because you didn't have a calculator for every question. I believe this is one you didn't. And oh boy, that's much harder. At least with Desmos, you can literally just see the point is not inside of the circle. 
So there you go. Definitely an easier way to do it.